People who remain lying down in the same position for a long period of time encounter serious health problems. Due to the constant pressure on one part of the body when one is not moving for a long period of time, the blood vessels become constricted and can close altogether. As a result, the oxygen and other nutrients carried by the blood fail to reach the skin and the skin begins to die. This leads to the appearance of sores on the body. These sores are known as bed sores or pressure sores. These sores, which form under the skin or tissue, can assume serious dimensions unless treated. If they become infected, they can even lead to death. The healthiest thing to do, therefore, is to frequently change the position of the body in order to reduce this pressure. Patients who cannot move themselves therefore receive special care and are moved every two hours by others. The importance of movement during sleep was only realized in the 20th century. Yet information pointing to this importance was also set out in the Quran, the word of God. You would have supposed them to be awake, whereas in fact they were asleep. We moved them to the right and to the left. This verse refers to the companions of the cave who remained asleep for hundreds of years. In addition, God also reveals that he moved their bodies to the left and right while they were asleep. The fact that these medical facts discovered in our own century were also noted in the Quran is without doubt another of its miracles. All that we have seen in the scientific miracles of the Quran films shows us one clear fact. The Qur'an is such a book that all the information it contains has been and is being found to be true. Facts about scientific subjects, facts that no one could have known at the time of the Qur'an's revelation, are announced in its verses. It is impossible for such information to have been known with the level of knowledge and technology available in 7th century Arabia. This, of course, is manifest proof that the Qur'an cannot be the word of man. In the Qur'an, God tells us the following. This Qur'an could never have been devised by any besides God. Rather, it is confirmation of what came before it and an elucidation of the book, which contains no doubt from the Lord of all the worlds. Do they say he has invented it? Say, then produce a sura like it, and call on anyone you can besides God if you are telling the truth.